Hi, Tiffany here from Manor House Creations. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this mini album. The base of the mini album is from Leaky Shed Studios. It's a chipboard album. And I'm using the Graphic 45 By the Sea paper collection. I started out with covering all of the chipboard pieces with white cardstock and then tracing the chipboard pieces on the pattern paper and cutting a little bit inside the lines so you could see here it kind of just gives it a nice white edge. Here I am creating a real fun textured background and I don't remember where I the person that I saw this from but I did um, see it on a YouTube video and you use masking tape crunching it up and then um, in a moment you'll see I will paint over it with some gesso So I'm just taking a sponge brush and pouncing on the gesso, kind of trying to get in all of those little crevices and pouncing it gives it just a little bit more texture and I'm wanting to go with a lot of texture in this mini album without creating a lot of dimension. So here I'm using just some gesso left on the paintbrush and toning down that chipboard piece there. And I'm going to be taking some shimmer spray and just randomly spraying it there in the center. And I am now placing all of my chipboard pieces and pieces that I cut out um, from the paper collection. And that is a flower from Manor House Creations. And I have another little, it's like a ticket strip that I'll be placing there too. And later in the video I do go back and add some more um, to the cover of the album. But you'll see that later. So I'm just placing everything down. And then I wanted that chipboard piece to be popped up on both sides. So I have to add some cardboard on the other side. And you can see there, just easy. And... You can, I mean, sometimes I leave it so you could put a picture. This time I just wanted that um, by the sea phrase right there. And now going on to the second page. And I kind of do the same concept to each page. Um, cutting it out, leaving a little bit of space in between the white and the pattern paper. And using the masking tape to create some texture. Um, and so you'll see here, I'm going to be putting it on the back there. And then I do use my, um, my distress tool to distress the edges. And here's that masking tape, just kind of crunching it together. And I'm trying to figure out which way is the best. Um, the last time I crunched it while I was putting it on the paper. This time I crunched it um, before I put it on the paper. I hope that makes sense. Um, and I like... I'm crunching it while I'm putting it on the paper and the creases and the folds turn out a little bit better. And this one I'm going to be placing, I just tore some white paper and I'm going to be using that as a photo mat and using some gesso to lighten things up. So here I came back to the uh, the cover of the album and I'm adding some flowers from the vine and this is the blue one 
and I love the flowers on the vines they are so pretty and I do add some gesso to the flowers and then I add the shimmer spray um, I really love how that how it looks because it really saturates some areas and then some areas it's just a little bit lighter So I added the masking tape to, you know, most of the page, and I do paint the gesso a little bit off of uh, the masking tape there, so it kind of creates like a, like a smooth transition between the paper and um, the paint. And I'm adding some cheesecloth. I'm painting it with the gesso, trying to get a little bit more white rather than the natural color it, it comes in. Adding it in the center there to create more textures. Here is another flower from Manor House Creations. This one I believe is Icicle really love these ones. The stamens in the centers of the Manor House Creations flowers are just to die for and they are nothing like you've ever seen. They're just gorgeous. And I did spray the shimmer spray on the background of that page there. So here I'm just adding some more texture with the modeling paste and Tim Holtz um, stencil there. Adding 
a little journal piece and I forget what it says but um, I really like um, the lighthouse and then spraying some of that spray there and again I'm using the stencil uh, and some modeling paste for this background here I do it on the on two of the edges So I am just finishing up this last page here and I hope you guys found this helpful and I, if you have any questions please feel free to ask and thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys later.